So these are the railway guns. It's gigantic. And they intend to turn this on a city full of hundreds of thousands of innocent people. Who the hell are you? Are you those kids in the military academy? Stay away from the railway, goddammit! Enough from you! We need to take them down as quickly as possible. Bring it on! Aw, they brought the little kid. My turn! Let me show you how it's dead! See this? There! This is suck! <laughs> See this? Fuck you. <laughs> a Wait a second. Let's go that did nothing. Understood. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, that, that did bother. <laughs> it was hitting the wrong type of enemy. I'm out of it. Leave it to me. It's absolutely fuck all that human. Um, uh, you need to see pink. Go. Yeah. Or man. Uh oh. Yeah, this is a big uh oh. Maybe we do need a healer. Here I thought we were gonna fight. Fuck it. Watch up. Watch in the work. Of course. Lola, darling. Show us your little death move. No escape. Now. Nice, nice job. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, just picking your fight with the Lord. Damn. Ah, fuck you. Here we go. Okay, so far we're not too badly injured. So I can do Gale and kick your teeth in. Second form. See there. Uh, uh. Go. Goodbye. An opening. Uh. You're finished. That's two in no. here, One's unconscious. Leave it to me. So he's unconscious. So it's just this guy left. Yeah, I think we'll deal with the smaller uh. guy. Oh, no. well, the weakest guy, bro. Another. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. One left. Yes, sir. Just this guy. Ah, if I. Really particularly mean how to punch him really hard in the face, slamming. So yeah, here we go. Get him! And then we'll no! kill him with slamming. And one for me. Or not. Of course. Goodbye. Here You're like life of Peter or somebody, I should know. Oh well. You know what's rather amusing? My turn. These enemies don't even have names. They're just terrorist swords and terrorist guns. <laughs> That's it. They don't have any other names. Really sad. You know you're a father enemy when you don't have a fucking name. It's just your weapon. My turn. Ah, huh? uh, good luck. No. Evil will fall before my blade. Bye, father enemies. I'll remember you. Sword one, sword two, god one, two. <laughs> That's just sad. Damn it! This is the first time I've crossed swords with the Imperial Liberation Front. Mm, they don't seem really strong, just really obstinate. What would push them to go this far? We can discuss that later. Right. We need to stop the railway gun first. Get back! It would have been smarter to stay away, yes. <laughs> I'm impressed you saw me coming, Purple Lightning. I see the rumors about you weren't just trumped up stories. I love a good compliment, but getting one from a terrorist just doesn't put a spring in my step. Still, I suppose the fact you're here means the other ringleaders must be over at the other gun. <laughs> v certainly is. As for Gideon. I'm sorry to say he lost his life in Crossbell a short while ago. What? He did? I just received a call about it a few minutes ago. Apparently he was killed by a real top-rate Jaeger Corps hired by your friend, the Blood and Iron Chancellor. Poor guy. I heard it was practically a massacre. What a terrible way to go. Well, Grant isn't exactly known for his bountiful sense of mercy. <laughs> if you don't want to die like a dog, don't run around snapping your fangs at everyone. 
You keep talking like this has nothing to do with you, but I take it you've got no intention of beating a retreat. It sounds like you've got the railway gun set to automatic firing mode, too. <sighs> I was wondering what that sound was. It, it was loading another round! Oh, I was hoping you'd miss it in all your battling. <laughs> it's got, oh, ten minutes or so to go. Conniving witch. You can let us past, or we're going to force our way through. Your choice. Careful. She's a dangerous one to tangle with. And she's hiding something. <laughs> right again. Damn! Giant archaisms! Ooh, just my color, too. For borrowed muscle, I've really taken a life into that. <laughs> Gideon might have fallen, but it's not too late. To send the Chancellor to join him on his way to Gehenna! How about you go instead? Crossbell's counting on us. Strike with everything you've got! Let's rock! <laughs> Think you can satisfy me, little kittens? Here we go! Okay, you big trumped up red headed bitch. Alrighty. Who wants to die first? Azure Flames, gather on my blade! Strike! I love me a good back. Man, is the music awesome right now! They're on fire, she's on fire, it's on fire, everybody burn! Witching Imperial Liberation Front Executive. Torments and slaughters foes with a Templar sword. Basically, you know that chainsaw the Ida's heart used to use? That's right, there's a hyperdimension reference coming right now. That is a Templar sword. I don't know if they ever existed, but they are a right fucking pain in the ass to deal with. What I do know though is Lightning Charge! I'm bringing the thunder now! Ah! My turn! Alrighty, it's time for Raptor! Behold the might of the Arcade School! Radiant Flame Damage! <laughs> Here I go! Alrighty, it's ass whooping time! Yeah. That's, that's all I got. <laughs> oh, I'm on that ass for us, I got that light up. <laughs> go ahead. Another chance! And one for me! Alright, now we're at it. Now I get to have the foot. What the fuck? It must suck to suck. Ah, crap! Okay, we did a heal. I am. I am right. Stand down! You're <laughs> vengeance, right? Okay. Okay, purple lightning. Show them how you got your name. One down, one unconscious. We'll see how long that lasts. My turn! Okay, one down, one unconscious. Can I empty this guy? Yes, go! There! Aha! Yes, sir. He's unconscious, it's on fire. Yeah, I think it's time for us to finish this with style. Should I get no way? Ryan, beep! Go! My turn. Yeah, man. Who wants a Who wants a shot? Anybody? Any takers? I don't have any secret. Okay. I'll kill him. Hey! And then we'll destroy his friend. Go! No, I don't have any now. Ha! Gonna put a shot at this. It's still alive. Leave it to me. Okay, right, let's just end this one real quick. Ha! Right, that was it. Let's kill her. Come yeah, on. How about this? How about no? Go. Really no? Just no. Stop. Okay. Let's not work against the dead. No. Stop. Here I go. Okay, right now we're gonna punch you really hard and hope that that stops you from casting an arc. Get him. Eat this. 
That worked. Leave it to yeah, me. Yeah, it just it was the it was the strike that uh -oh. it was the strike that the right. punch was the huh? thing that was the uh -oh. stop countering me. My turn. Eat this. <laughs> and then uh, okay, this is bad. Leave it to me. Eat this die. My turn. Okay, seriously though, uh, let's give it. Let's, let's try this. Burn to ash. This could be bad. Yeah, it's okay, it's under control. Uh, um, I'm a wrecker. Shatter! Off guard! Goodbye. Our time is now! Leave it to but me! I have <laughs> yes, sir! You have no idea how much I want to get gigantic brick in a bucket! Now! And what is it? William, finish her! Come on, Lammy! Suck on that, you red-headed witch! Ta-da! That's how you win with staff! They had a really fucking hard with that VRT gas. <laughs> and it set her on fire. You would've thought someone who's cloaked in red would be immune to it. Nope. Oh well. Suck on that, you big pain in my ass. Ooh, Falco Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Guys, you really got a job sometimes, you know? Anyway. Systems deactivated. Oh, thank goodness. Ah, you got me. Shouldn't have expected any less from the ace of the 4th Armored Division. Or from Sylphid. The rest of you weren't half bad either. <sighs> I, I can't believe you could take on this many of us at once. <laughs> you were one tough old bear. Nightheart here. We've regained control of the left railway gun. We've deactivated the right wing's railway gun over here. Good work. We did it. Oh, thank goodness. My, my. You can hardly call our crossing paths coincidence at this point. <laughs> oh well, no matter. Everything played out just like C said it would, both here and in Crossbell. What are you talking about? Comrade S. What? How can they still move? <gasps> We'd completely incapacitated them! Go, Comrade S! Regroup with Comrade C and V and bring the hammer down once and for all. That's the plan. Well, I'll catch you all in the great beyond. What? No! She wouldn't. Damn. My name is Seal, leader of the Imperial Liberation Front. 
Allow me to extend my congratulations. You did well. Fending off our two hulk attack here and in Crossbow. But you would be foolish to assume this is the end of it. The hammer of judgment shall fall again. I'm ready. Damn you! So this is the Imperial Liberation Front. It's even more brazen than I heard. <laughs> so C was here after all. Who is he anyway? What's he hiding? Even the intelligence division's drawing a blank trying to gather info on him. At least this time we managed to capture some of them alive. And they will talk. What the hell? Is this... poison? <gasps> what? Damn! Looks like these guys all swallowed neurotoxin capsules. I don't think we're gonna be able to save them. I doubt it'll work, but I'm gonna try to neutralize the poison. Emma! If you got any herbs you think might help, give me a hand here. Of course! Do you think they'll pull through? Not sure. I'd give them 50-50, maybe. Even if we can keep them alive, there's no guarantee they'll regain consciousness. <gasps> no! Why? Why would they go this far? These are the kinds of people we're dealing with. With some quick thinking, hard fighting, and a little luck, we were able to stop a potentially devastating terrorist attack in its tracks. But with the political climate as it was, this incident, overshadowed by the crisis in Crossbell, was never made public. In the days that followed, we still felt shaken. Our eyes newly opened to the dangers facing our homeland, both outside and within. Ooh, you're moving up in the world! <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Drinks are on me, someday. <laughs> Good showing, everyone. Hey, that didn't suck. <laughs> for the Why did I get an A, not the usual B? Huh. Oh well. Teacher though, usually I get like a B. It really sucks. It's always a B. So, A is for... I don't know. Huh. Maybe they saw it without realizing it. That might have been it. All I know though is somebody needs to keep tabs on me time that owes me a beer. Because, uh, come part three, we can drink. <laughs> so I think it's time she pays us back. But that's not even in English yet, so fuck no. Half a month after the incident at Corellia Fortress, a sense of lingering unease still hung over the Empire. The government increased patrols by the Railway Military Police as part of their counter-terrorism measures, while the Noble Faction bolstered their provincial armies. There were even rumors that they'd hired several Jaeger Corps. At the center of everything was the Imperial Liberation Front. They had allied with a terrorist group from the Republic of Calvert to attack the Trade Conference in Crossbell, and as we'd seen firsthand, had attacked Gorelia Fortress in an attempt to fire the two railway guns stationed there. They'd made it abundantly clear that they were no mere insurgents. These were dangerous people we were dealing with. And following their attempts to target Chancellor Osborne and the Reformist faction, rumors started to spread of a possible connection between the Imperial Liberation Front and the Noble Faction itself. Meanwhile, new information was filtering in from Crossbell that surprised us all. During the conference, one of the representatives of Crossbell's state government made the daring declaration that Crossbell would soon declare its independence, breaking free from its neighbors, Calvert and Erebonia. To no one's surprise, both the Imperial government and the Noble Faction dismissed it as nothing more than delusional raving. 
But one thing was clear. That declaration only served to increase the tension in Erebonia and across the continent. On a cool, clear autumn day, the Academy's prestigious board of directors gathered for their first meeting of the year. And that concludes my biannual report. Good, good. It seems the Academy is running like a well-oiled machine. No administrative issues to speak of. Student performance is sitting comfortably above the national average on exams and on general aptitude tests, too. The second year students seem to be having a banner year as well. The student council president in particular has built up an outstanding array of extracurricular achievements. <laughs> Well, she attended last month's trade conference, and from what I hear, she put the professional secretaries to shame. I only wish the conference could have ended on a more... positive note. I'll say, the share prices of my company have been on a real roller coaster ride ever since. Undoubtedly, what happened at the trade conference has wreaked havoc on the economy as a whole. But moving on. I couldn't help but notice in the recent exam reports that Class 1 and 2's academic performance seems to be slipping. Perhaps the preferential treatment given to the upper-class students is hindering their scholastic development? Well, students belonging to the nobility are allowed to return home during August to learn more about their family's lands. It's a tradition here, but one I can't help but wonder if we've outgrown the need for in this modern age. If I may, traditions accumulate and hold meaning only so long as they're preserved. Our nation's culture, its arts, its social classes, all are rich with tradition that makes Erebonia what it is. And I believe we have a duty to protect and uphold them. After all, does not this very institution champion the ideals of its founder, Emperor Dreykels? Indeed it does. Though I've always understood Dreykels' intent to be the founding of an academy for the people. Even 200 years ago, when education was seen as the province of the nobility, male commoners were permitted to enroll. Today, we have plenty of young women attending, and the commoners easily outnumber the nobles on campus. Perhaps it's time we started taking strides to realize Emperor Dreykel's true ideal. You seem to be laboring under a few misconceptions here. Commoners were permitted to attend, but only as retainers. Retainers served knights, who served lords, who served the emperor. That's the way the Erebonian society functioned. From that vantage, the structure of the academy in its earlier days certainly seems to have embodied that social order. And if that's so, what is there to suggest that it's not the social order itself that has become the aberration? Well... For one, if that were the case, it would be far easier for me to see my views put into practice. But I can hardly get a word in edgewise between you two. Well, I'd certainly enjoy a return to the way things were in Dreykel's time, at least in that particular respect. <laughs> our apologies, Your Highness. Well, our role here is to consider your views and work toward implementing them. <sighs> See what I mean? Would you be so kind as to help me out here, Principal? I'm here to moderate this board. It wouldn't do for me to express my position on the issues at hand. That said, I'm sure your passion for reform will triumph in the end, Your Highness. I suppose I should have known better than to look to my old teacher for sympathy. <laughs> it warms my heart to see such a fine teacher-student relationship. 
Now, if I may, I'd like to steer this discussion toward a rather timely topic. We've already touched on the issues regarding the Orbal Net and the Orbal Staves, but... I'd like to stress again that the adoption of new security measures for the Orbal Net should be a top priority. Well, I'm certainly inclined to agree. But we'll have to rely on the Foundation directly, as things are looking a little shaky with the IBC. You can leave that to me. The other matter I'd like to review is the use of the Orbal Staves and the Arcus Units. Or more specifically, we need to talk about how Class 7 should operate from here on out. Mm. Mm. Setting aside the fact that my daughter is a member of Class 7, I think we need to reconsider how the class should be run, in light of what happened at Gorelia Fortress. While it certainly proved an excellent chance to see what the Arcus units are capable of, I have serious doubts about whether we should carry on with these field studies, given the current political climate. It would be difficult to do so, I admit. With the terrorists at large and the problems in Crossbell unresolved, these are uncertain times. At the very least, I believe it may be in the class's best interest to cancel this month's field study. We could always resume them once the terrorists have been arrested and the situation in Crossbell calms down. Hmm. Hmm. Arise, O youth, and become the foundation of the world. I'm sure you all recognize the words of Emperor Dreykos. They become something of a school motto here. It's my belief that Class 7's actions at Gorelia Fortress perfectly embody the spirit of that directive. They stood together to stop a tragedy in the making and, in a sense, protected the foundation of our world. No one ordered them to do it. They took action of their own free will because they knew in their hearts what was right. Some might call it recklessness. Some may think it rash. Some may even venture to call it hubris. However, as chairman of this academy, I'm incredibly proud of what the brave young men and women of Class 7 achieved. Your Highness. Huh. <clears throat> Troubled times may lay in store for Erebonia, and for the entire continent in the months and years to come. But I believe that makes something like Class 7's field studies all the more significant. The experiences they're having now will help them find the strength and the means to press on through adversity. I can't be the only one who feels this way, can I? They do seem to be showing remarkable growth. That much is true. Although I have no idea how much my daughter is really capable of. Immature as she is. <laughs> I could say the same of my hothead of a son. I do wonder about my brother sometimes. However, it does seem that enrolling at this academy has helped him start breaking out of his shell. With the Academy Festival coming next month, we hadn't even planned a field study. So the issue at hand is just whether to hold a field study at the end of this month or not. I'd like to ask those in favor of going ahead with this month's field study to please raise their hands. <laughs> 